Hi guys, today I'm going to review the uh, iOS 7 Beta 1 and it's only iPhone 4. So uh, it's more of a UI change and the overall look and feel of the iOS has totally changed as you can see from the uh, lock screen. Uh, there is no more slider over here. You can see this slide to unlock text. Uh, you can't catch it on a camera but still it's a slide to unlock but it's on the overall thing. The unlock animation has also really changed uh, let me show that and uh, the first change uh, let's see the animations uh, when you open up any app let's see Google Maps you see that animation has really changed it doesn't pop up from the center and go into the entire thing it uh, starts from an icon it zooms into the icon and then goes if you can catch it yeah it goes like that and uh, let's start from the very first app the phone app it's totally changed uh, with the UI okay then look, going into the keypad uh, you can see it's circular thing and and rather than rather than having the backspace over here where we use we are like the iOS 6 when you type in a number you have the uh, black slash backspace sorry over here uh, sorry you can't see that over here like you can it's over here and add to contacts is right here otherwise we used to have that call add to contacts and back and backspace another feature is a uh, block the sorry I called them. another feature is uh, blocking contacts and over here you can see I'm sorry let me focus that okay if you can't see it says block the scholar if you go and complete the procedure there uh, you will never receive call, calls from that number again and uh, another uh, UI change is when you call a person uh, yeah you can basically see what the changes are and uh, after that uh, I guess the phone app doesn't really have any changes other than uh, Safari yeah that says we have a new tab thing so let's open up tabs here new tab okay let's open up another tab okay you see the tabs over here you can see the when the when the pages are loaded you'll be able to see a kind of an overall view of the web page in your tabs view and you can see the uh, the private thing is really made easy otherwise uh, in iOS 6 you have to go back to your settings app then again uh, put it into private you have to, you have to clear, clear your data then you could do private browsing otherwise this is made really handy over here after safari you all see uh, it's more of an uh, UI change that's all and the tab thing is there and then uh, we can go into the music app it says we have an uh, iTunes radio but that's not really available in India so I won't be going into that otherwise let's see the UI changes again Tune that down. Okay. See, uh, you can basically see the UI. Okay, and then let me flip it around for you. Okay, the orientation is locked. Let me unlock that. Okay, it's done. So you see all the artists I've got here. Let me uh, go into one right now. Let's go into NGK. Yeah, you see it goes like that. Okay, that's pretty much it, I guess, for the music app. Other than UI changes, you don't have anything, it's like this. Uh, camera is not focusing up, but otherwise, nothing other than UI changes after this. Uh, let's go into this control board. It's a really handy tool, we've always wanted that from Android. But now we have it on iOS and rather than having a settings thing on a notification center we need to swipe it from bottom, just swipe from bottom and you'll get a handy control uh, panel over here. You can toggle really, uh, uh, you can toggle really tools that you really require from day to day. It's first one is airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, night mode and orientation lock so and then next feature is your brightness control then you have ipod controls right here it uh, is 
first is the duration and the seat pa uh, bar then you have the name artesh play uh, forward and then the volume thing then we have airplay button and this is on iphone 4 i shouldn't be having that airplay button but it's a bug i guess it shouldn't be there but on iphone 4 it will be there and on iphone 5 you'll have another option uh, i guess it'll be there on uh saying uh airdrop but since this is an iphone 4 review i won't be covering that then we have a flashlight this is a clock not a task manager a calculator a camera a flashlight really toggles that really fast and uh, a clock calculator and camera uh, then after that let's go to the notification panel that's a really bad impression at first it's uh, i guess it's it's worse than what we had on ios 6 uh, I don't know how can I manage that. I don't see a clear all button here, and it's but it's quite nice to put it in today. All missed in kind of a phone thing. What they do on your on the phone app with the missed calls and all notifications. Over here we have the calendar. But one thing you won't like is the stocks. Earlier we had uh, kind of a single bar where you had all the stocks running around. But this is kind of a Mm, let down notification center is really a let down then let's go into message as app I don't believe there's any changes let's go into the mail app okay basically UI changes and nothing much of a really drastic I couldn't find any drastic changes but yeah it's there the UI changes are there then uh, Let's go into calendar. Calendar is also a UI change only. Otherwise, no features. I I believe they've copied this from Android, the timeline thing. Uh, but still, it's I don't know how to get back to the thing uh, to the month. Oh, it's there. Yeah, it's there. I couldn't do that before, but yeah, I figured it out. Then let's go into. I don't have many photos, but yeah, it's there. The 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 way they've managed the camera rolls pretty nice, but I don't know why when I restored the backup from my iOS 6 it didn't really work for me. But this is supposed to be done in a yeah it's yeah yeah you can see this I guess you could zoom out but I don't know why collections moments this moments is supposed to be working really nicely but I don't know why it's not working maybe that's a bug or something but then the photos app is really a, again a let down on iphone 4 at least next going into the camera app let's go into the camera app you see it's i don't know it's not loading up but yeah it's an iphone 4 okay yeah it's there i guess see it's there oh, over here you have three modes earlier you asked you we used to have video and photo with the toggle right here but now we have a kind of a page kind of thing you move it like this you have the video uh, thing then you swipe right photo it's a landscape thing if you can see yeah, that's a landscape thing then and no, not really landscape thing but it's, it's the normal ratio then you have the square thing for maybe instagram fans but it's a square thing and swiping this is really the way you want to go and then going into the photos app i really want to show you the effects they had i missed that when i was saving the photos app so let's cho choose a pic of my android phone okay and now i'll go into ed okay yeah it's here it's edit let's see the effects now uh it's auto enhance rotate uh here are the filters so let's go into the filters uh black and white filters then we have fade many filters uh, but probably they are better than Instagram at least okay we well, can close that then we have and let's go into utility let's see what we have new here uh, compass is they've really changed the compass and I really like this compass because of the theme maybe and the uh, uh, calibration is really user friendly otherwise we, we uh, had to draw the 8 on iOS X and I didn't really figure out how to draw that 8 but I couldn't calibrate that 8 so but then uh, this is fixed uh, this is pretty cool so you can swipe here and hmm. yep. I don't know what's that but still it's there 
and you can see the marker right here that can uh, you know the calibration of the surface maybe and then you have your where you're facing economic uh, compass okay compass app is really nice and then I uh, won't go into game center uh, the weather app is also really nice let's see that okay here you go uh, here's my current location that's new there uh, no I guess yeah here's my current location that's New Delhi swipe right I've said that New Delhi otherwise should be some other location then swipe right that's another saved location okay let's go back and tap here you have an overall view of all your saved locations and your current location then you have a minimal setting of uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit that's all I guess into the weather app but it's a really improved version of the iOS 6 now going into maps maybe but that doesn't really work in India so I'm not going to that again uh, let's show you the calculator okay here's the calculator it's in UI so just when you turn you have the scientific calculator then let's go back into the home screen the, you can see the folder view over here it's not really nice as the iOS 6 and the iOS 5 and the iOS 4 but it's there I guess that's pretty much it uh, and here's the new uh, the signal bars as you can see it's little five dots and that's all I guess we we didn't see wallpapers from Apple of the i7 till now I guess that will be on the public release that's all okay uh, let's go into the settings app I haven't shown you that okay um first of all there's control center which is the thing you open from here for your quick settings yeah that was there yeah this is the control center so let's see what settings it has it has only one setting and that is access on the lock screen i wish it had more settings to change what you wanted on your quick toggles but still it's not there uh navigation center seems the ios 6 uh, then carrier is same i don't know what mobile as your network settings I guess in general it was uh, on iOS 6 was in general and then network over here it's right there for you and then Bluetooth is same as the iOS 6 Wi-Fi airplane mode do not disturb general sound brightness and wallpaper it's the same privacy okay there you go some privacy settings okay then mm, well, General settings not really an iOS 7 thing. Okay, that's all. Now coming to uh, some traits on for the iPhone 4 in specific. First of all, uh, iOS 7 better one at least feels really sluggish. It's really slow as compared to iOS 6 at least. Um, and you you see this settings you and that was already loaded still. Uh, that was already loaded so it didn't take that much of a time. But still, it's really sluggish coming from day to day use. And then, okay, I didn't talk about multitasking till now. So let's go into multitasking. Double tap that. It's more of a Windows phone thing. See, so I have so many apps open here. But uh, iOS does it really nicely. When I scroll from app to app, the you can see the icons moving slowly and the uh, apps moving fast. It looks pretty good, but it's still it's a copy from Windows. We didn't expect Apple to do that. But still, it's uh, you can't move it. Uh, like, like Android you can do it on any side but this you can do it only up so you can throw it up and you need to close apps I'm, I guess your fingers will hurt doing that uh, uh, single uh, tapping it again and again over here to close that to close your apps on the uh, red negative button was pretty e easier than this okay you close that that way and then uh, that's all I guess from iOS 7 till now it uh, personally this dock feels really bad it feels like I've, I have a scotch tape and I've printed these icons on top of that it feels really bad and the glossy thing was way better uh, compared to this I guess that's pretty much it uh, on iPhone 4 the camera app is really sluggish as well you see how much time it takes to open up okay uh, and one other thing uh, I guess iOS users were really proud of, proud of this they said as soon as you tap the home button you're ready to go but then 
you might not be able to notice it but still there's a kind of a lag which i was used to boast not having it but still uh, i guess my android phones do it better as soon as i tap uh, the lag between the press and the wake up time is really uh was in an android phone i can and uh, that's really hit on apple uh, that's all i guess not more of a change uh you can yeah, that's all i guess thank you for watching